Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, I am going to cover question number 44 from AWS Solution Architect Professional Level Exam. These questions are provided by HadoopExam.com. So now let's jump to the question number 44. You are designing a web application which require in backend Aurora DB and DynamoDB and few other servers. Your user base is global. However, you want while reading data, it must have a low latency and while writing data, you can have a somewhat latency that is fine. There are two reason choices available. Let's say primary reason A and secondary reason B. And you can have same workload deployed in both the reason. Which of the following option you will consider while architecting your application? Assume reason A is good for latency insensitive workload. So now let's go to the explanation first and then I'll come back. So basically as you can see uh, in an image also uh, here they are using the Aurora DB, Dynamo DB and exactly same architecture in both the reason, primary reason and secondary reason. And uh, one reason is using CloudFront, another reason also using CloudFront and uh, routing policy 53 here. So let, let's first read here content. Multi-region setup cloud also be beneficial for application with a global user base correct so that is what we uh, can have the application can be deployed in multiple secondary AWS region closer to the user base location uh, basically you can have like multiple regions are located and uh, this the, the, that reason could be closer to user base it uses a primary AWS region with a lower cost for cons consolidated service and latency insensitive workloads for that it can use a primary reason as per the image given it allows for an application to spend multiple reasons to serve read requests with the lowest network latency possible so when uh, you can see there are two or uh, so user application user correct one is this and one is this now when read request is sent uh, if this person is sending this is read request this is close to him correct so it would go to this reason only and write request which is not sensitive to the workload and this user say like uh, low cost reason they wanted to use for uh, write request then it would be redirected to uh, this reason basically correct for write request and this user this reason is good for uh, read and write both so then this user would use uh, the small request would be routed to this so as per this email each client will be routed to the nearest AWS reason for read request and Amazon routing 53 latency routing policy will be used here so that routing policy would decide where to route the request for write request an endpoint routed to the primary reason which will be used this primary endpoint can also have a periodic health check to fail over the secondary reason for disaster recovery. Selecting the optimal AWS reason is an important first step when deploying a new workload. There are many other scenarios in which splitting the workload across multiple AWS reason can result in a better user experience and cost reduction. So that is very important. How do you decide your reason? If the workload is bound to be in regulation, then shortlisting the reason based on the compliance. Measure the network latency between each reason and location of the user base. Estimate the workload cost for each reason. Uh, check that shortlist re shortlisted reason have a services and feature your workload request. And finally, determine if your workload can benefit from the running in multiple reasons. Correct. So that is what here we need to do. So basically question is saying which of the following option you will consider while architecting your application. Assume reason A is a good for latency insensitive workload. So first thing you need to do is what basically wherever read request is required you can redirect request to the nearest user because that is sensitive. Uh, that is uh, your user base is global how you want to reading data it must have a low latency so low latency is possible only when uh, you send a reading request to the nearest reason then only low latency you can have so that is what here in the uh, image also it is saying this user can send a request to closest reason this is what and this user also can send to its closest reason so whatever option is having this option each client should be routed to the nearest this reason whether either a or either b while reading data so this this 
part is correct here each client should be routed to the nearest AWS stream while writing data writing is not a sensitive so we don't care about this whether we would need to do or not correct so let's hold on this each client should be routed to the primary region while reading data and you can use AWS route 53 latency routing policy why why only pri primary reason if primary reason is far away for a user then this is not a good choice correct basically you wanted to have a good read then you need to go for a nearest one so option C is 100% wrong each client should be routed to to the reason reason B while writing data mm, that is true uh, like low latency is fine reason B you can writing data okay so based on the questions we can see here each client should be routed to the nearest AWS reason either reason A or reason B while reading data and you can uh, use AWS route 53 for routing policy correct so while architecting you have to consider this rest all three options are wrong and does not uh, fulfill the given requirement so I'll go for option one let me submit it and that is the answer for this so that's all about this question thanks thanks for watching I'm stopping now wish you all the best for your career thank you please visit hadoopexam.com for more details